Hello everybody, my name is Will Porter. I'm here with you today to show you how to use the Web Outlet Project Designer. The robot I'll use for this demonstration is one I built a few months ago. It was a, basically an iRobot Create that would avoid objects in its path, a few pieces of hardware on it, an Axon 2 microcontroller, as well as a servo and an IR sensor. If you'd like more information on its function and how I wrote the code, you can visit my website at billporter.info. The microcontroller I used is an Axon 2 microcontroller. This is a product from the SocietyofRobots.com website. It's an AVR microcontroller with 58 I.O. ports and 16 ADC ports. It's a very powerful piece of hardware and anyone serious in the robot, I definitely suggest getting one. You can find out more about it at the SocietyofRobots.com slash Axon2. For this tutorial, I'm going to assume you have a few things installed. The first thing you'll need is the AVR Studio 4 Development Studio. You can download this from Atmel's website. You will also need the WebOtLib library as well as the project designer itself. Both of these are available from WebOt's website, webot.org.uk. As you can see, I've created a folder on my desktop called iRobot Project. In that folder, I've installed the WebOtLib library itself and all its files. I also have my own library I wrote to interface with the Roomba and Create from iRobot. Now we're going to open up the project designer itself. File, we're going to do File, New, Axon 2 Microcontroller. It's going to ask you for your battery voltage and capacity, so I'll tell it 6 volts and 2200 milliamp hours. I'm going to get 2200 in there again. Okay maximize this. Now we're going to start adding hardware to our project. Well, for the first thing, I'm going to do a servo. So I'll do actuators, servo driver, hardware, PWM. I'm going to click and drag that into here. This creates a bank of servos. So bank one is the name of the bank, and I'm going to add a servo to that bank. We're going to call it scan servo. We're going to change this. Now, these different parameters can change for server by server basis. For my particular servo, center was 1400, and the range was 900. And I also had to reverse direction. Okay, so now it's created a servo in this bank. And we're going to do okay. You can see it'll flash for it once you connect that servo. So for this particular servo, it's going to connect to the B5 pin header. Now we're going to add a distance sensor. We're going to add a sharp GP2 distance sensor. So I'm going to click and drag that into here as well. We'll call it distance and we'll leave it at it is the input pin is ADC0. Okay. You can see it's flashing ADC0 now. Now I also need to add one more UART. So I'm going to do basic UART. Click and drag. I'm going to call this UART2. It's going to be hardware UART number two. I need the baud rate to be 57600. I'm going to add a 20 byte buffer on either end. Send and receive. Okay. You can see it'll start blinking the UART2 pin header. So now we have our servo, our distance sensor, and our UART. I'm going to save the project. I'm going to save it in that iRobot project folder on my desktop. We're going to call it Axon create save. Now we go to tools, generate. It's going to ask you where it wants you to send your rprintf output to. rprintf is going to go to my uart1 and error message is going to go to your uart1 as well. It's going to ask me where my webautlib library is installed. I'm going to tell it it's in my irobot project folder. Webautlib AVR CLib. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and close Project Designer. Alright, now I'm going to open up the iRobot project folder again. You can see there's many more files now, all created by the WebBot Lib Designer. The two header files at the bottom here, hardware.h and xhardware.h. Hardware.h is what you'll put in your main C file. And xhardware.h is a file you need to include in all your own libraries. So if you look at my Roomba library, Roomba.c, you'll actually see that I have an include xhardware.h at the top of it. There's also a project file for AVR Studio 4. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that. That'll open up AVR Studio 4. 
This project's already set up to go to use the Webbot lib library. I'll go to source files, axon create.c. And as you can see, you have your, your main C file right here with a bunch of code that the designer put in to demonstrate how to use the different parts of the hardware you've added to your project. I'm going to go ahead and delete all this and put my own code. This is the code that I wrote, most of it that I wrote, to use my robot. It includes my own Roomba.c library at the top, as well as the hardware.h library. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this. And now I've created my project. Now that I've successfully compiled the program, I'm going to take a step away from the computer and show you all the connections I made to my Axon 2 microcontroller. Alright, now I have my Axon 2 microcontroller. I also have a dimension engineering switching voltage regulator that takes the voltage from the create battery and drops it down to 6 volts. I'm going to take its output and hook it up to my Axon 2 battery input. The next thing I'll do is I'll take my UART connector from the iRobot create and connect it to my UART 2 on, Axon, on the Axon 2 microcontroller. Then I'll get the servo connector and connect servo up to the B5 port. There we go. And then I'll take the sharp by our distance sensor and connect that to the first ADC port, ADC port 0. And now I've made all the connections I need to make to my Axon 2 microcontroller for this robot. Now that I've compiled my program and made all the correct connections on the Axon 2 microcontroller, I'm going to go ahead and upload my program to it. The usual way to do that is over the bootloader that comes pre-installed on that. You can find out how to do that at the SocietyOfRobots.com website. For this particular demonstration, I'm not going to use the bootloader. I'm going to use a hardware programmer. So first, I'm going to make sure I make the connection to the hardware programmer to the ISP port on the Axon 2 microcontroller. Alright, I made the connection. Now I'm going to come back to my computer. I'm going to go to this little icon up here to connect to my programmer. It's an AVR ISP programmer. I'll leave it on auto. This comes up. Now I need to tell it where my binary file for my microcontroller is. So I'm going to go back to my desktop, my iRobot project fo folder that I created earlier. And now there's a new folder default created by AVR Studio. I'm going to double click that and axon to create.hex is my binary file for my microcontroller. So I'm going to open that and get ready. And I'm going to go ahead and program my microcontroller. So it's programming the flash right now. Verifying. And now my program is, not, is flashed to my Axon 2 microcontroller and we are ready to go. So I'm going to take my crate off my desk, put it on the floor, and watch it go.